And the winner of 2022 Arnold Classic is Brandon Curry. Unexpectedly, I don't know how this happened. I didn't see this on the live stream. Maybe yesterday it was a little bit different. It was closer. At the finals, I thought William nailed it enough to win this show, but apparently he didn't. But then again, guys, live stream, it wasn't like super, super high quality. It was definitely a whole different story in, in person. So I trust the judges. I believe they made the right decision. I just don't see it based on the live stream and the photos, HD photos, HD videos that I saw, everything. It all really, really looked like William is gonna win it. I think most people felt the same way based on my voting poll, based on the commentary. I really don't know what happened, but I'm sure in the next couple of days we will hear what exactly happened. Uh, people who were there, they will probably tell us what Brandon had over Bonek. Anyways, Regan didn't really deliver. We all thought this is gonna be his year, his breakthrough year, but no. He ended up in 7th, beating only two guys. These two guys on the right, Max Charles and the guy that won the amateur last year. So let's say it was a failure for Regan. It wasn't really... Too big of a success uh, this Arnold Classic. Now in sixth spot we had of course Brett Wilkin and I'm saying of course now only because of the callouts not because of what was expected of him. A lot of people including myself expected him to be in top two, top three or even win the Arnold Classic but I guess not everybody is Nick Walker. Rarely it happens that bodybuilders in their first or second pro year like it was with Nick win major shows like Arnold Classic but if Nick was here with his last year's look, he wouldn't be in top two either. He wouldn't beat Bonak. Bonak was better than he was last year when he beat Nick Walker. Of course, Brandon beat better William Bonak. And Steve Kukla was better than he was last year. So maybe Nick would be fourth. I don't know. But third at best. Justin Rodriguez fell down to fifth. And I'm happy with this decision. I don't like this guy's physique. I'll be honest. It's, it's rugged. It has zero aesthetics, no flow whatsoever. The only thing that he has is back, and he also came much worse at the finals. Uh, he spilled over, he was definitely much smoother, just all over, more blurry. His legs looked like a complete mess. I mean, he injected so much oil in them, it just shows. You can see it. You can see the oil in, in, in those legs. So, I mean, it worked uh, as far as the silhouette. But uh, it doesn't show details well, it just looks oily. I don't like that look. It just added to his uh, lack of aesthetics, to his ruggedness, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just an ugly physique, very ugly physique. Because of that, I would put him behind Brett, for sure. But I guess the judges definitely considered his mess. Now, Samson Dauda, he was in fourth. I think it was very close between him and, and Steve Kuklo. But I guess the judges saw it better from the first row. I'm not a big fan of Steve Kuklo, his muscle is so dead, there are no deep separations, but he was shredded, he was complete enough, uh, Samson needs more back, and uh, he needs a little bit more uh, detail in the glutes, he needs those separations, but still fourth place for Samson, major success, great success. And of course, Steve in third, like last year, but with much tougher lineup. A success, I would say. Nobody, I'm sure including him, thought that he can beat Bonek or Brandon. Those guys are just out of his league. Third place is a good enough result for him. And even though he didn't win, he came back. He brought back his old physique. William Bonek did so well at this show. I really thought he should have won, but he didn't. Still second spot for the Conqueror. Brandon Curry wins the show. Tell me, what do you guys think? Do you think Brandon actually deserved it? Was Bonac robbed? And also, what do you think about Justin Rodriguez's placement? Did you expect Samson to beat him? Whatever your thoughts are, guys, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.